We're up in Hever Green, up in uh, Quake Base and Wudu's studio right now. Uh, very pleased that they let us use it. But normally when I record songs, it's as long as the track is itself, if you see what I mean. So I'll go into the studio with the band and we just play. So if the track's five minutes and the track takes five minutes to make, do you see what I'm saying? And then after that is editing and it's mixing. You can spend years on that shit if you want, but the making of the track and the writing of the music, I don't don't tend to spend like ages and ages over, you know. We haven't even really practiced in this setup, to be honest. This is quite, we did one session like ages ago, but we did Arm Kwelu with Mars Wulu, but yeah, man, this is just, this is just an idea. We'll see if it works. So behind the camera, you can't see right now, but you will see uh, we've got the incredible Quake bass, who's, yeah, this whole studio is his brainchild and, yeah, all the MIDI stuff you're going to be hearing. And then when you're listening and watching, thinking, what's that? I can't see no one playing that. What's that? That's probably Quake. Some mad effects thing going on. So, yeah, watch out, Quake bass. How you doing? My name's Joelman Jones. Me and Quake bass are going to go against the clock for fact.
enjoyed it. I had fun, man. It was wicked, man. I enjoyed it. On the spot plug-in rigging. Yeah, man. Bing, bang, boom, you get me? Do a lot of work with with Quake in, in my band context, in which case, like, Quake usually brings some of that stuff that you heard today, like a little bit of that rig, but then I have all the other instruments as well, so it's like a lot of stuff going on, so we wouldn't have quite Full as much shit, yeah, yeah, MIDI yeah. stuff going on, but then me and Quake have a group with Mars Wulu called Armed Quailu, where that's no holds barred, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. everything. Joe's usual Nord setup, do you know what I mean? Um, base station, Novation, and then Ultra Nova, it's basically mapped to this Jasper of stuff. And then, I mean, predominantly the Peak and the SH32 was just like beefing up what the Ultra Nova was doing. So Joe's just got like a lot of synth world at his fingers. And then in my rig is the same. If you see me in any context now, this, you know what I mean? The other ship, which is essentially the Looper 505 MPC Live, shout out Akai. And then um, a Yamaha like drum module essentially for chopping up and doing weird things with the drums using triggers and then within that we just got a few send and return set up in the Ableton file to be able to uh, kind of manipulate what Joe's doing on my end and then from there just try and have a jam and build something on the fly do you know what I mean but this thing's been building for a long time yeah 100% that, that, yeah. 100% through through doing yeah. the trio particularly we we've, we've you know what I mean we've been able to understand you know the improvisation side as well as the composition side through Joe's stuff. Just getting into that really and just being able to indulge, I suppose, you know, because there's a lot behind the notes, do you know what I mean? So for us, it's quite it's quite fun to indulge in a jam and have a constraint, I suppose, do you know what I mean? In it, man like Willie, yeah, step in, what yeah. do you mean? Come yeah. here, sure step in, good. blood, you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, 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 just we're just chatting about on Quailu, innit? Oh right. Oh, yeah, oh, me, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> then, well, just in case you don't know, that shit. This guy. Yeah. On Quailu. Get like a Nardwa <laughs> snapshot mm. for that bit. I just need batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I just need some batteries, <laughs> guys. Batteries, bro. One little thing for me uh, would be the mapping of the MIDI notes. This is quite an intricate well not intricate, but just just the type of shit I like doing, you know what I mean? To be able to remap the samples, so instead of me using them as firing off, I can then fire them with the drums. Apart from that, that I'm was like, kind of dope, man. Seeing you like play the drums and then yeah, that's what I mean. Like there's, there's, and yeah. The drums. You got that technique down. Man. Nah, that's my shit. You know, I like to be. That's why the hi hats on the other side and all that to be able to, you know, have one side for electric, one side for acoustic. I mean, the most powerful piece of advice to people, I don't know, people hear this a lot, but, and say it a lot, but it doesn't seem to like strike home a lot for some reason. It's just like, you have to sound like yourself, whether that's making a spaceship around your drum kit, like Jaws has, so that you don't sound like any other drummer, even without the spaceship, like Jaws has his own styles and his own way of playing, but it's about formulating something that is unique to you no one else has basically which is it sounds cheesy because people hear it a lot but it's genuine like a lot of people's starting point with producing is like all right let me we'll make beats that sound like that guy and then we'll make beats that sound like that guy it's a good process like jazz musicians transcribe charlie parker and it transcribe whoever you know but there needs to be a point where you're like okay i'm gonna make a beat that sounds completely not like these people you know same with composing and everything it's all the same thing you know? Mm, mm. I'd further that point just to say like, you know, if it's really like what you're into, you should definitely explore hardware just as a point, as another thing to do. Because I think the limitation then starts to stem your personality, so to speak, of how you use these boxes and all of this, do you know what I mean? Not to say don't use computers, obviously a lot of men do a lot of things in the box, you know what I mean? It's deep. For me personally, as Joe says, you know, everyone developed their style and I think what I learned from using hardware then affects how I see and approach the drums, for example. So I would definitely say get a box and just fucking shed it. Same goes for it, same with yeah. any, any like instrumentalists who don't even mess with box yet, you know, mm. like that's mm. an important thing to start getting into and like learning how to use production stuff if you're a musician because it's like knowing about harmony or something or rhythm like knowing about those aspects because you're just going to be coming up against them all the time so you might as well understand them you know shout out raggle foot shout out, shout out the room 
them ones yeah, down shout London. Out to the room studios, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I've won, my brother Wu Lu, mm. um, Kwe Lu. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Question mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> you got me. Mm.